Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this really cute yoga mat strap or you could even use it for picnic blankets. I think it would look really nice with that or of course just your normal exercise mat. It's just really great and it's so handy and easy to make as well. So we're going to start off with two 5cm wooden hoops. I'll have these linked in the description box. And I'm going to be using some 5mm 3-ply macrame cord. This is the one that I sell on my Etsy shop and my website. So it's a really great chunky cord and it will make this fly by. But if you use 3mm it won't look as chunky obviously and it will take you longer because the knots are smaller. So you'll need two lots of 10 meters of this. So two long lengths of cord, 10 meters each. So it will take a while to make but it's super easy. Two 45 centimeter lengths of five millimeter cords. These are for wrapping knots at the end. You'll need a tape measure and you'll need some scissors. So these are new ones to the Lunar Craft shop. I'll be selling them very soon. They also come in matte black and they're gorgeous. So sharp as well. So to start off with, I'm taking one of the hoops like this and one lot of our 10 meter length of cord. And we're going to just find the two ends like this and then we're going to find the middle point. And then we're going to attach it to the hoop using a lark's head knot. So take that middle point and take it through the hoop from front to back. And then we're just going to pass the two cords through the loop there and then just feed those two cords through. It might take a while because the cord is so long. Just like that and pull that to tighten it and that is one lark's head knot. So repeat the exact same on the other length of 10 meter cord. Just like so. And now it's time to make the two middle cords shorter. So we'll add on all the length to the outer cords because the outer cords are the ones that are going to be using up all the length to create the knots and you don't use any of the length for the middle cords for the knots. So take one of the middle cords, so I'm just starting with the middle cord that's on the left. I've found the end and from the end I'm going to measure in 180 centimetres. Just like that, so where my finger is is the 180 centimetre point. And now what we want to do is make that point right up to the bottom of the lark's head knot, if that makes sense. So I'm going to loosen the knot that's on the left like this and then if I pull on the cord on the right of that lux head knot, the outer side cord, it will add on the length to that and the middle cord will slowly and gradually start getting shorter. So just do that until your 180 centimeter point is now at the top of the lux head knot. So if you see here the middle cord is 180 centimeters and all the length from that cord has been added onto this outer cord. And we're going to repeat the exact same on the other middle cord so that all the length will be on the outer two cords. Just like so and then these are 180 centimeters. So it makes the outer two cords extremely long and annoying to work with. So what I'm going to do is grab one of our 45 centimeter lengths of cords and I'm just going to temporarily bundle up the end of one of the long cords like this and just tie that 45 centimeter length cord around it just to create a little bundle so it's a bit easier for me to pull it through the knot when we create our square knots and I'm going to repeat that on the other side this is optional but I did find it was just easier to do that so the cords weren't getting tangled up and now it's time to create our square knots so I'm going to take the cord on the right the end cord over the middle two and the first will go in front of that one behind the middle two and through this loop here. So just pull it through gently and of course you'll come to that bundle if you've bundled it up like that, pull that through and then just pull that to the top to tighten it. And now the first cord will go in front of the middle two and behind the fourth and the fourth will go in front of that one behind the middle two and through that loop there. And then again just pull that gently till you come to the bundle and pull that through and then you can pull that to tighten it up to the bottom of the other knot and that is one square knot complete. So that's the only knot that makes the whole length of the strap so I'm just going to continue repeating this and it's going to take a long time so I had Netflix on in the background as usual. 
just keep on going on creating those square knots and slowly but surely the bundles of cord will get shorter so it'll make it a bit easier to pull it through but this did take me a while just because the cords were so long and bulky so I'd recommend making a cup of tea sticking on the telly and just cracking on so I'm just going to continue doing square knots the whole length until I've pretty much reached the 180 centimeter length of the middle cords because that will be the final length of the strap. So just carry on doing square knots until it looks something like this and I've probably got around 15 to 20 centimeters left of the cord at the bottom and that should be the perfect amount to attach it to the hoop. And now we're going to pass this through this hoop at the top from back to front, just like this. So you can see this loop that we've created is where the yoga mat will go. And then we're gonna grab our other hoop and feed that onto the other end. And then we need to create another loop again, like we've done at the start. So this part's a bit confusing looking. I've threaded the wooden hoop on and I've got the end and I'm just going to pass that through the hoop like this. Just like that so you can see we've got the loop there so I'm just folding the ends of the cords back on themselves with the hoop attached in the middle so we're going to take one of our 40 centimeter lengths of cord and we're going to create a wrapping knot so make a little tail at the top just like this and then create a long U shape at the bottom so you've got a long U and a tail here wrap the longer tail around all of the cords quite securely to keep them nice and safe and wrap it as many times as you want. I'm probably only gonna be able to do about three or four wraps. And then once that's done, we're gonna take the longer cord that we've been using to wrap around all of the cords and we're gonna pass it through the loop that we left at the bottom. And then just pass the long tail through the loop that you left at the bottom. So passing it through this loop here, gently hold that in place and pull on the short tail that you left at the top and it will start to close that loop and pull that cord up into the knot. So pull it until it's about halfway through. That will just secure the cords and also help make it look a bit neater. And I'm just going to repeat the exact same steps on the other side just to make them look a bit more uniform. So now we can go ahead and grab our scissors and just cut off all the excess cords. And if you wanted, you could take some glue and glue these edges just to make it look a bit neater, but I wasn't too fussed. And that is the yoga mat strap complete. So you can see you've got these two loops either side, which is where the yoga mat will go. So I'm just grabbing mine, popping it in. And then if you hold it up by the strap with the hoops, it will start to close and it will secure it in place just like this. But super easy to adjust it. You could fit a thicker picnic blanket in there if you needed or a towel or anything really. It's really easy to make, although it's time consuming. And I think it's really, really pretty in the end as well. I really love the added effect of using a chunkier five millimeter cord. I think it's definitely the right size cord for this project. So if you do recreate this one, please be sure to tag me on Instagram at Lunacraft Online because I'd really, really love to see it. I always love seeing your projects. Even if it's not one of my tutorials, I love seeing what you're making. Let me know in the comments what color you would use to recreate this yoga mat strap. And if you could like, subscribe or comment, that would really help me out and I'd really, really appreciate it and I appreciate you anyway. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.